Hello, subscribers and future subscribers. I'm Karma Jolt. This game is to the moon, and we are about to do it. Last we left off, we made it pretty much all the way through Johnny's memories. We finished our journey through his memories, and we found that we, no matter how hard we tried, we could not convince him to go to the moon. We could not influence him in any way is what it seemed like um and in the last episode rosalyn was kind of thinking like i wonder if there's some other condition that needed to be met in order for johnny to think okay uh i got nothing else to do but go to the fucking moon so we don't really know what's wrong and at this point we're not sure if we can finish our job Ugh, you can smell that squirrel Neil ran over all the way from here now. That's weird, because normally roadkill doesn't start to smell until it's been rotting for a few days. I'm just gonna go straight upstairs and see what happened. Damn, look at that clock. It's already, uh, you know, 8.45-ish or something like that. I can't really tell without the numbers being there. I'm bad at knowing the clock. How is John doing? Barely hanging on. What are you two doing? We just... We just couldn't make any progress. It's hard. You'd better be soon. You'd better be making progress soon, is what he means. We don't have long. You know, because he's old. If you're looking for your colleague, I think he's in the kitchen. Nah, fuck that guy. Wait, I'm going to look at all these paintings now and see if I have any different interpretations for them now that I've been all the way through Johnny's brain. A painting of a lighthouse by the cliffside. You mean Anya? A painting of a woman holding something yellow and blue. You mean the uh, paper origami rabbits? A painting of an animal of some sort. You mean a roadkill animal? Oh no, that's, that is actually the platypus right there. A casual painting of three people. That could be anyone. But it's probably Anya, Anya, and Anya. Or uh, Johnny, Nicholas, and Isabel, maybe? So, which one's the kitchen? Oh, it's this one, because it's where we got the peppermint candy cane thing from. No, I understand that part, but oh, we walked in on him having a conversation. Okay, did you confirm it in his records? And why, again, was this information not made available to us? Or the medical doctor, for that matter. When did you get that coffee? That's the point of interest. It doesn't matter that some sort of information that was vital to our job was withheld. It's like, uh, first priority, I need coffee too. I bet it's not coffee. Shh, it's whiskey. I mean, it's coffee. Uh, boss, are you speaking with headquarters? <laughs> no, actually, I'm just holding a banana up to my ear. Gotcha. Yes, I'll fill you in after. Now, shh. I'll fill you in with this top secret confidential information after. Haha, <laughs> nobody. I wasn't talking to anyone. It was just a joke. Well, I'm gonna steal this fucking flower. I thought I left this at Johnny's bed. Oh, yeah, where did you find that? I thought you shh to me. You shushed me. Temporarily unshushed. Oh, ain't I lucky. Well, I found the rabbit in the lighthouse last night. There are a bunch more of them there, too. There are a bunch more there of them there, too, in, in the basement there. Ah, hmm. Well, re-shushed. All right, resume shushing. Yes, I actually... Last paper rabbit River gave to John. I actually said the joke they were about to make and I made it unfunny and I apologize. I'm not sure, we'll have to check on that. Well, someone should take out this trash. Or whatever is in that bag, I suppose. Cause it's gotta be something garbage-ish. Garbage-like. For River. Oh, it's just two notes over and over. Genius! 
like the Jaws theme, or someone playing a tuba walking alongside uh, someone they want to make feel dumb and stupid. You know, that joke that's sometimes on cartoons and TV. But ma, I done wanna go to school. Well, it can help you with that fucking accent and grammar. It's Sunday, dear. Shh, let them sleep. Nah, I'm gonna wake them up. I bet they have some sort of important information. What's this? Haha, <laughs> turn it off, you giant doofus. Nah, fuck those kids. They weren't any sort of help to me. Place book on shelf. What was that that I just saw over here? What is that? The Pilgrim's Guide to Origami. Volume 1, The Key to Avoiding Paper Cuts. Do nothing! Okay, so that's more joking and shit. Like, what is this cra strange puff of smoke that I see? Coming from Lily, I guess? Those two shouldn't have stayed up that late. But I should have watched them. Well, it's not an everyday circumstance. I know, but I'm just so exhausted. I'm sure you are even more so. I really need to take a seat. If there's anything you wanted to ask, let me sit down first. If there's anything you need, do it later. Yeah, wait until I finish sitting. Oh, was there something you wanted to ask? Yeah, I guess. Um, tell me about you, Lily. I know it's pretty unusual for someone like you to work here. With two children and all, I mean. It's not that bad, really. There's a school bus that passes through here, and it runs over all sorts of squirrels, and it doesn't hit any trees. So at least it's got that going for it. But how did you even end up here? Well, a few years ago, my husband passed away. What happened? He was in the army. They were the last batch... Batch is what they call a group of soldiers... ...to be deployed overseas. Sorry to hear. I panicked. Our savings were low, and the job market was grim. Johnny saw my ad and offered me this job. I accepted with gratitude. This place was peaceful, too. It helped me with my grieving. Doesn't the government issue grants to war widows to help them get back on their feet? They do, and eventually I received aid. But it's not a perfect system, okay? And by then, Johnny was starting to have trouble on his own. He needed my help. Tommy and Sarah liked this place, too, and so we stayed. As far as Johnny, he was glad as well. To have, like, some company, I guess? We're going to miss him, too. I think deep down he really wanted a family. I wonder if that's relevant to anything or anyone. So, what are you going to tell them about John? I... I don't know. I'll probably make something up, but it's no use. Really? Like, you don't think those kids are old enough and or smart enough to understand, like, oh, like, Johnny died. Like, how are you going to keep up this ruse, lady? Like, I don't understand... A pet peeve of mine, by the way, is when adults act as if their children aren't smart enough to understand things. And that pissed me off. When, like, I remember when I was two years old, you know, um, my teacher, like my preschool and my daycare uh, teachers and supervisors would talk about me as if I couldn't understand what they were saying or as if I weren't paying attention for some reason. That I hated that shit, and I will never, ever, ever do that to another child, because I remember how it made me felt. Felt. How it made me felt. And I'm still so angry about it that I can't even grammar good at, at, when I think of things at, about it. Anyway, yeah, she's gonna make something up. That's a good plan. Kids are smart nowadays. They'll figure it out. So why would you make something up? Might as well. It's the nature of life. There's nothing to hide. Okay, wait. I thoroughly didn't understand that conversation in that case. She was just saying she'd make something up, right? And then she said, maybe I won't make something up. Maybe I understood it wrong. Maybe I just completely read that incorrectly. 
and I went on this rant for no reason. I just went on a completely separate tangent. Is this your full-time job? This is your full-time job, isn't it? What will you do when this is over? What else is there to do? Find a job in the city and live on, I suppose. It's a shame, though. I'm going to miss Johnny in this place. Maybe I'll come back to visit every once in a while. No more questions. Oh, hey. Uh, the reason Johnny won't go to the moon is because he doesn't like talking to doctors. Before Johnny fell unconscious, he told me that you two would probably be coming soon. He said that he would probably... He said that he probably wouldn't get the chance himself, but... He wanted me to tell you thanks for him. Oh, that's nice. So, thank you. Well, uh... Dot, dot, dot. Well, I hope we can, like, figure out how to grant his wish. Alright, let's go talk to Neil. Is he still on the fizzone? Hmm! What is it? I just call it a fizzone like that, like, and, and completely didn't react to that in any way. Like, oh, no big deal. People say that. They don't. It seems like our little Johnny here has some hidden records from the old days. Hidden records? Hidden medical records, to be exact. Apparently, during his youth, he was administered a large dose of enhanced beta blockers. So he can't feel... They tend to have this little side effect on a curious thing called memories. Wait, what are beta blockers? Those aren't like some sort of... Uh, they're probably going to explain it right now. Johnny didn't have a heart condition, did he? Apparently not. Which leads one to wonder if the side effects were intended to be merely just that to begin with. And in such a large amount. Its impact on his memories at the time of administration must have been significant. You think that's what kept us out of his earliest memories? Damn, this music is starting to get a little ominous. Well, it's not the machine, I'll tell you that. The maintenance department yelled at me for scolding them. Huh. So what now? I was just giving... Given the reconfiguration frequencies, that should get us past the blockers. And once we're in his childhood, it might finally be early enough to transfer his desire for it to work. Oh yeah, so his suppressed memories, we could just like finagle some, you know, frequency or increase his brain waves, you know, things like that. And then bam, we're in. Then what are we waiting for? But just one thing. Of course, there's always that one thing. He's got a lot of memories about monsters. In order to activate the new frequencies, we'll need a trigger. A chrono trigger? We'll have to go back in time! Something that exists strongly in the bridging, inaccessible memory. And we'll need to give it to John for, for him to stimulate his memory internally. But what do we know of that? We're only, we've only gotten a glimpse of his childhood memories. And even if we find a childhood photo or something, John's unconscious. Yeah, back to square one. I know, cocaine! You know, this job hasn't been such a pain in the arse for me since Nora's case last year. <gasps> Nora's case, that's it! Uh, something, something that I remembered about Nora's case. That's the solution. Likewise. This is killing me softly. I'm going to... I'm going out to get some fresh air. Well. Oh, ah, uh, damn it. Ahem, forgot my coffee. You saw me hover in my mouse over that coffee. Received note. Bl Blada Bakker. Well, I wonder if this note... Um, clock ticking? Something River can't stand. Beta blocker. A drug with the side effect of dampening memories by interfering with stress hormones. Uh, okay. Yeah, I could have sworn beta blockers had something to do with, um, dopamine or how, uh, or how, um, 
something that affected depression in such a way that like it made you happier man that was pretty scientific like that was an a plus description of what beta blockers do it smells quit barging in and out of doors yeah try windows the roadkill ava it smells Genius! I know, it's your fault for running over it. No! Get the thing that he's trying to tell you. What's going on? The children are still sleeping. Yeah, I know. They've been asleep for like 10 minutes. What's going on? Wait a minute. That last memory, the one we were stuck at, it was the same smell. What are you two talking about? Am I going to go have to scoop a dead squirrel? The olfactory receptors are directly linked to the brain's limbic system, Lily. Don't you see what this means? I'm... What? I... Come on. Come on, Lily. He means that smell is arguably the most effective sense for memory recall. We can use it as the stimulant to bridge his childhood memories. And the best part, even though Johnny is unconscious, he's still susceptible. I think I'm missing some vital contextual info on this whole thing. All right, this is good. This is awesome. Uh, okay, Lily, to fill you in, um, there were some memories in in Johnny's brain that we could not access because of like some beta blocker shit. So we're gonna try to trigger those memories by putting a dead squirrel uh, up to his face. Now you just know go need to fetch a piece of the roadkill. Yes, I'll just- wait, why should I fetch it? You're the one who ran over it. Exactly, I've already done my part. <laughs> Ugh. Oh, you miserable bastard. Um, if it helps any, I have gloves in the kitchen, right? I have a dead squirrel right here. I have a pair of gloves you can borrow. Yes, okay, thank you. Yes, that helps a lot, actually, thank you. They aren't really disposable gloves, but that'll probably change after this. Well, thank you. Just make sure the gloves don't get anywhere near this house afterwards. The roadkill will have to come in, though. Oh, God. Say ya! About to go catch me a dead-ass squirrel. Probably the easiest squirrel to catch. You know, because they don't get scared when you approach. They're totally fearless. Unlike the one that I had a battle with earlier. Ah, my gosh! Huh, deja vu. Yeah, it just jumped right under me? I don't understand how that worked. But it juked me. It went right in the five hole, so to speak. Right under my legs. Sup, squirrel? That car's gonna explode. I know it. The kind of things this job gets me into. It's not safe to just bring in a piece of germ-infected roadkill like this. There's a valved container in the car. It'd at least make the odor controllable. Okay, so... And I've got the keys, or it's unlocked. Guess what? I brought in a dead-ass squirrel. Where are you going? I need to pee. I gotta take a leak. Wow, I've just been calling shit like all day. Okay. Not that that gets me anything. But I'm proud of me. What a mess. The car crash shook everything up. Let's see. Guns. Mm, jar of pickles. Jar of pickled olives. Aha! Here it is. Received valved container. Now to get some of that dirty roadkill. Is Johnny gonna come stop me like, wait! Different plan! Ugh. Received contained roadkill odor. I just took a piece of it? Like I ripped a shred of his flesh and or bones or organs or muscles off? and put it in the container like I didn't just scoop the whole thing because that you know is too much for me to handle it's actually easier to like cut a piece off with my hands 
Hey. Oh, hey. I was gonna go pee, um, but not in the bathroom inside. Did you get the roadkill? It's ready. Can I, um, take a look at it? Go set it up. I'll be right back. Where are you going? To finish the rest of the roadkill. I... Uh, gotta... Gotta go feed my digital pet. Yes, my Tamagotchi. What? Yeah, dudette. I've been feeling retro. Anyway, hurry and go set things up. I'll be in there in no time. What are you... We got some dying... We got someone dying back there. He skipped the stairs, by the way. He just jumped off of that cliff. Good for him. What the potato is he up to? I'm, like, stuttering a little, by the way, when I read any of this dialogue, because the sentence structure is so odd. Like, it's it's so different from the way I craft my own sentences. I have no time to check on him now. Like, that is not the way I would ever say a sentence like that. Unless I were reading it from the screen of a video or computer game. Let's go stimulate some memories. Ah, the good old dead squirrel smell. You know, I could have just lit some incense. I have that flavor, that scent. So when we get to that exact point, I will send the signal. When I do, I want you to release the valve for about three seconds. Certainly. It'll smell awful, and maybe it'll trigger some bad memories for you too, but it needs to be done. About time you showed up. Have you made sure the germs are sealed off? Fully sealed and filtered. Not like it'd matter to a dead man. You should know that Johnny's condition is deteriorating fast. He just lost an arm. This might be your last chance, you two. Whatever you do in there, good luck. Uh, luck's the last thing we need. No, it's not. It's like one of the first ten things we need. You know what I would guess is the last thing you need? Like, uh, a meteor crashing into the house. That's probably the last thing you need. Act three. They shine their lights at the other lighthouses and at me. Damn, okay, so I don't know how much more of this game I have to go here, but... But let's explore some memories, I guess. Alright, we're right back to uh, Johnny's preteen years, I suppose. Let's go! I already have so many fucking memories right now. Do I just, like, go right by them? Okay, so I guess um, this memory... This memory here was the one right before I got to the blocked off memories. So how am I going to give this person a signal IRL to think that this little thing's causing us so much trouble? I just want to kick it to outer space. I can kick it in outer space with y'all. I suppose all we can do now is to send the signal and a hope. Well, ready? Uh, yes. Yeah, do it. Give the signal, which is what? Oh, there's like a light. Oh gosh, it smells awful in here. Something's happening. Quick, send it again. Oh, he remembers an earthquake because of dead squirrel scent. Doctor, something's wrong. What? Take over for me, Lily. Take over, um, releasing this crazy, awful smell. His condition has been destabilized. Intake levels must be reconfigured. Don't have much time. It's now or never. What's happening to this place? It's been destabilized. Get out. What? Get out of his memory now. What are you talking about? If the system doesn't restabilize soon, the shock might permanently damage whoever's in here. Oh, just like when you jack out of the Matrix prematurely. Why aren't you getting out then? I can't, Neil. If both of us get out of here, under this state, all of our work will be reset. There won't be enough time to redo all we've done before Johnny. Oh, you freaking... Don't pull that contrived crap on me. This ain't a movie and you're no hero. You're just being a moron. Then why are you being one too? Get the hell out of here. 
Screw that. If you're gone, they'll probably pair me up with Alistair. Do you know how badly he smells? Worse than that squirrel. Oh, I... Sh I'm just calling all of their jokes and punchlines right now. I am in this guy's head, and I should get out before something happens. Damn it, Neil. This is what I get for helping you cheat through the entrance exams. They are such good friends. I didn't know they had a relationship like that. Ah, uh, he good. I wonder if... Oh. I was going to see, I wonder if I can hit escape and see if his heart monitor is pulsing. But that might skip a cutscene. Doctor? Yes, I have a mullet and a bowl cut, but I'm still a doctor. I think we're okay for now. Um, this looks like a pretty crazy memory if you ask me. <gasps> Something happened! Meow, meow, meow. Talking skulls and crossbones and Jolly Rogers at each other. And guess what? Your carrot cake sucks! Oh, come on. Wait a minute. Yeah! And the last Christmas party, you... Oh. I want to know about the last Christmas party. Come on, let's go before that happens again. Um, you know that I didn't mean to, uh... You know, call you a moron, right? You know that I did, right? <laughs> Alright, let's just get out of here. Can I... Go somewhere? Um, do I need to do this? Here goes nothing. Oh, I have to interact with a soccer ball. Okay. I guess I should have known that that would teleport me inside the um, boundaries of this memory. By the way, uh, I guess it's a pretty tiny soccer ball. Um, but now that I think about it, like, their heads are completely disproportional to their bodies, so... Maybe they need tiny soccer balls for their tiny legs. Wow, I can't believe that worked. So we actually made it. But now I'm not sure if I'm going to like this place. What do you mean? It seems peaceful enough. Neil, did you notice something odd in Johnny's room earlier? Er, what? There was something strange in there. Did you not see it? I suppose not. I actually don't remember what she's talking about. Never mind. I just hope I'm wrong. Uh, do we want to take guesses as to what she saw in Johnny's room? It's just a body hanging from the ceiling. Can't interact with any of these people. Wow, that sounds fabulous. I know, right? You've got to take them there one day. Uh-oh. Johnny had a brother at one point, and there was a picture of him in the room. But one day, they went to, like, Six Flags or, like, an amusement park or the carnival or something, and while Johnny's brother was on the roller coaster, it collapsed and he died. Calling it right now. Because I've been calling everything correctly so far, and I'm on a roll, so I can do no wrong at this point. Uh, what are you guys up to? Sheesh, the time overlap's getting out of hand. Look at how many of him are there. It's like a zoo of Johnny's. Which I wouldn't pay to go to. I would not go see that. What am I supposed to see, and where am I supposed to go right now? Well, let's slowly walk around <laughs> this pathing. I'm so bad at making her walk in a straight line. Ha! It looks like the ball's moving around on its own, and he's just chasing it. Balls. <laughs> he said balls. Uh-oh, here's that squirrel. All thanks to this little fella's sacrifice. I hope. Uh, what is that supposed to mean? Yeah, I hope it's the smell of rotting squirrel and not rotting human. Oh, jeez, look at the time. <gasps> I'd better get going. The store closes early today. Oh, take care, Martha. 
Say hello to the boys for me. I will. I'll see you around. Watch out for the bus. Oh, no. Well, this is the end of the road. And you were saying? Never mind that. Maybe I was wrong after all. I mean, this place, it's so peaceful. The only thing that exists in this memory that could do such a thing would be... And they keep bringing up the point like, oh, it's so peaceful here. It's so peaceful. Like nothing could go wrong. What's the worst that could happen? Shit. Duh. We need to go back now. Wait, what's going on now? Just shut up and come. Uh-oh. Drunk driver? Avoiding a squirrel? I don't, I don't like where this is going. Oh, that's it? He got, he got hit by a car backing up. That, like, wasn't nearly as bad as I thought it would be. I thought it would be like a bus killed his mother or something. I mean, did she run him over? Like, did she back up all... How fast could she have possibly, be, possibly been going? Possibly. Oh, it's just that Johnny kid. I don't understand. If he was unconscious, how could we be seeing this here when he never did? How did you know the parts you weren't there for? Yeah, still, I'm just surprised that he survived a car backing up out of a driveway. Actually, he didn't. Er, what? Didn't you see in his room, Neil? Johnny slept on a bunk bed. Joey! Damn. Alright, well, I half called it. I sort of half called it. Joey, can you hear me? Joey? Why did you hit Joey, Ma? Why did you hit him? Joey, wake up, Joey. Wake up! Okay, now it's getting sad because it's definitely the mom hitting her own kid. I guess he bounced pretty far off of her backing up into him. Joey. Even though they were young, to lose a twin brother, not to mention how their mother must feel. At least Johnny had the beta blockers erase the memories. Not like he remembers it much. Fuzzily unlinked. Not erased. Well, now he's clearly remembering it because we are in his memories. Somewhere in there, the aftermath of those memories probably lingered. What about their mother? I don't think she took the beta blockers. She seems to have gone a little cuckoo. Wow, that's a professional way to describe that. Yeah, PTSD. That's like totally crazy, am I right? At least I don't really think she called Johnny Joey as a nickname. Oh my gosh, yeah. But if she then takes Johnny for Joey, what about Johnny himself? I don't like it here. Let's move on. Receive note, Joey. Seems like this wasn't the only memory unlinked. Odd, it's not putting up a barrier anymore. Don't jinx it. Oh, shit, guys and gals. What is this little train in the room? Dude, you should totally give this series a try. Animorphs? Is it Animorphs? I mean, really, it's just wicked awesome. We're from Bastin. I've already plowed through these books, to through three books straight. Just like Brady won three championships back to back. Not really back to back, but sort of. What's it called? Animorphs. It's about this group of kids turning into animals to fight mind-controlling slugs. 
Um, I've actually never read an Animorphs book. Meh. I don't like that weird alien stuff. Why not? It's great. Instead of going to boring school, they get to turn into tigers and maul big bad aliens. They're all like, row, row. Row, row, row. And then they pick up lasers. And it's all pew, 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 pew. Pew, 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 pew. It's like when you're counting the rows at a church. Don't stop that. Hee hee. Wait, no, he said, stop that. Not don't stop that. Just watch, Johnny. One day, I'm gonna be a famous writer. On the moon. No? I'll write the coolest novel on the block, and every kid will get my book for free. I'll make us rich. Uh, I can see a flaw in your plan. I'll make us rich, and buy both you and Ma really big houses. Oh, well, just the kids on the block will get the novel for free. Everyone else, you know, it'll be like, you know, five bucks be reasonable. How would you get rich if you give away the books for free? Free for the kids. The parents will still have to pay, of course. Yeah, I'm sure the parents will be thrilled to give you money. What, you're still mad about the other day? When I died? Oh, come on. I called first dibs on the train fair and square. What happened to your prize, anyway? I gave it away. To a hobo? What the fuck? Look, it's not just about that day. You know, Ma always favored you. Hey, that's not true. Remember last Christmas? And last Easter and the time we went fishing and... Okay, okay, you know what? You can have my train if you want. Really? Yep. Oh, they're being nice to each other. I mean, hey, by your reasoning, she'll get me another one, right? Ugh. Come on, that was sort of funny. Listen, Johnny, what difference does it make who owns what? Everything that's mine is yours, too. I mean, we both get to play with it, right? Apparently, that is not typical of siblings. <laughs> yeah. Like, they don't usually share all that much, but I don't know. I guess I had a weird family life because my brothers and I, like, got along for the most part. Right. I mean, come on, you're my twin brother, dude. You're like a pot of me. A pot of me. Like a hippopotamy. I don't know what I'm talking about. Oi, let's go confuse the neighbors. <laughs> yeah, twin things. Wait. In the rain? Yes, in the rain. Come on, it's creepier that way. Now, did you memorize your lines? Because we have to deliver them at the exact same time. Receive note, Animorphs. Whoa! I just got so many fucking memory thingies in my memory orb o meter there. Uh, I'm gonna stop the episode here because I feel like that's an appropriate length for a YouTube video. I don't know. So, hey, thank you so much for watching this part of To the Moon. Until next time, this is Karma Jolt signing off. Tell your friends I'm great. And, by the way, I have a feeling I'm gonna be done with this game soon. But I sort of had that feeling for like the last three or four episodes, so I don't know, maybe I'm wrong. I think we'll get there. I think we'll get there. Hopefully, we'll all get there together. So, thanks again for watching.